So this is the end of the Munich show, 2019. This is the a cappella room at the high-end deluxe part of the show in Munich. It's six o'clock. They're now tearing down the room. The next 11 and a half minutes will show you what we saw over the next two and a half hours when we were watching um, there's Alfred Rudolph, the speaker designer, and his two sons tear down the speakers. Oh, Robert's doing a silver surfer for us. I think that's what he was doing. So I'm taking off the front panels and um, exposing the drivers and um, this is something that Nelly usually does. I don't do it very often. See there that they bring their own power conditioning, <clears throat> custom designed by Herman Winters, the co-founder of Acapella Audio Arts. You may notice that um, Alfred Rudolph there and his two sons are very tall. And so when you think about how tall these speakers are, you have to realize that to them, they're not as tall as they are to the rest of us. It was kind of a big aha moment for me anyway. So the next thing that you want to do is take off the side panels. So Richard Rudolph is going to start taking off the horn on the right speaker. There's like six to eight bolts that he needs to undo. I'm doing the bolts between the top um, drivers and the main speaker. And now he's trying to hold a phone to give him and me some light so we can see what we're doing. Unfortunately, blocking the video at the same time. So now he's taking the wires off the crossover and Robert, I think that's Robert, or Richard is taking some extra wires that they have on this particular speaker, which was uh, originally part of a Poseidon speaker in the showroom and they decided to, to break it into two pieces and break it into two Apollons. Why? I don't ask why. I don't know why. I kind of wish they had brought the Apollons to the show. So Robert's removing the last bolt while Richard holds the horn, making sure it doesn't fall out, I guess. Similarly for the right side. These horns are about, I don't know, 50 pounds to 70 pounds, somewhere in that range.
putting little pieces of paper below the side panels, or the top side panel rather. That's so that it um, doesn't mar the bottom panel when I take it off. Our approach has been to use a washcloth, so this was uh, new to us, a new to us technique. So Richard's taken a billion or a bazillion screws out of the back of the side panel so we can take off the panel. side panels always came off really easily, but they only members differently, so she's very interested in watching how they do it. To me, to me it was getting them on, that was challenging. But only the first couple times. I should leave the video on, on this part because it's actually in English. Most of the talking here is in German and not very interesting to people like me who do, who do not know German. Isn't Nellie helpful? I always think she's really helpful doing stuff like that. So now he's going to go and try and take the side panel off while they supervise. Let's hope the whole point of this video and for us being here and staying the extra two and a half hours after the show ended and missing the beginning of the audio note dinner is so that we could learn some techniques from the, from the uh, manufacturer and how they tear apart these speakers and put them together, hopefully. I think the secret here is to kind of hit it with your palm, to jiggle it loose a little bit, because it kind of sticks after it's been in place for Nellie's all concerned about scratching these speakers, as she should be. But the manufacturers aren't always so casual about their own, own gear. She's removing, removing the bolt that holds, several bolts that hold the top unit on to the main, um, well, the middle unit. And actually, in this case, there's only a bottom and a top unit. On Cap Neely's, there's three units. So just look how tall these guys are. It's like, man, oh man. Yes, that's a pickle. Only in Germany. And 
as I figured out when we tried this technique on the Campanile's, Alfred Rudolph there is to make sure that the speaker doesn't start tilting in the other direction as um, the two fellows start tilting it towards them. Towards themselves, I mean. Now he's giving me the okie dokie. This list doesn't look like it's going to be too heavy. These, the tops of the real units don't look like this. This is the Poseidon kind of, and the demo unit, how it looks.